Our Zimbabwe adventures continue following a rumor of something mysterious called Meow. Not Meow, Meow. They are tribal water spirits that appear in villages and terrify the locals, hitting them and screaming. Also, a few things happen we didn't quite expect. We ready? But you'll see. You'll see. We're in Zimbabwe, somewhere outside of Harare, the capital, and on this channel, sometimes we just have to follow our adventure nose. We find ourselves in places like this, following a lead. The lead is that there's demons nearby. We're just not exactly sure where, but maybe I'm one. We'll have to wait and see. Zimbabwe! 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 While waiting for our mythical monsters to appear, we kill some time. Dancing now. Now. Dancing now. Is it happening today? Yes, happy today. Dancing now. When is it happening? Today. Today. <laughs> it's a happy day. It's a happy day. Happy day. What is your name? My name is Mike. 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 Mike who? Michael, yeah, Michael. Michael who? Michael Corey. I'm called Exxon Sindami. Exxon Sindami. Musendami. It's not a difficult. Musendami. Yeah. Muse. 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 Dami. Muse. Gami. Muse. Dami. Muse. Gami. Muse. Muse. Dami. And Dami. Yeah. I took nine tries, but I got it. So what are you doing here? I heard that there's going to be some spirits, some dancing, some demons. Okay. Meow. Meow, meow dancing. But you can hear them first, yeah? Yes, they, they make. They can say, Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> And so, when we hear that, we know that they're close. Yeah. Okay. We are very close. We are very close. Yeah. Are you one? Yeah. I know. I'm, no, I'm, are you sure? Yeah. Okay, okay. Just checking, just checking. <laughs> As I keep my ears peeled, some of the locals tune their goatskin drums on a fire. The demons arrive, making their shrieks and lashing out at the locals to make a circle. And I get a little too close. <laughs> a couple have sticks. One's got a tennis racket. Probably want to stay away from that one. No, no. I take it back. Take it back. I take it back. No, no, no. <laughs> a month of darkness and during that month you're not allowed to have any kind <laughs> they want me to have some whiskey all right all right all right a little bit a little bit Can I have a sip? Yeah, yeah. all right we got king stallion brandy premium quality so as i was saying november the month of darkness now no weddings and it's when the spirits come out this is the only time of year you can see these dancers they become possessed every november the belief is that these spirits move their feet so fast that they can fly i'd say they're pretty close Is the, the spirits. They like one dollar American bills. 
so, so do other people. Like that, okay, go for it. These people, these are spirits. They're yeah. demons. They come from water. They come from know. water. Yeah. They're not people. They're not people. Yeah. Then, a surprise. Demonic crocodile and chameleon have now entered the scene. They're being coaxed along the way with some shakers. <laughs> they seem hesitant. The croc goes on attack mode and the locals run. I don't think I like the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chased by a spirit crocodile in Zimbabwe, checked off the bucket list. The croc has got some moves. Hey, keep it in the mix, keep it in the mix. Then, Another surprise. Our only signal to what's happening next is when the crowd starts to scream and run away. And look, it's like a 20 foot python just crawled out from in between the crack in the buildings. First, the dancing spirits, then, the demon crocodile and snake. But now, Perhaps the scariest of them all, dolls. Angry, pissed off, temperamental dolls. I try to get them to turn on Ben, my cameraman, but they seem fascinated by his camera. You, no, not me. No, not me. Him. Hit him. Hit him. And the plan backfires. They're after Ben. We run. <laughs> Ben's gone. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I've lost my videographer. He's been chased by dolls. We'll see if the rest of this video gets made. I may never see him again. Lost in Zimbabwe. Not a bad epitaph, though. Destroyed by spirit dolls in the barrios of Zimbabwe. I gotta say, man. Yeah, I know. Besides, yeah. uh, besides the demons, yeah. this is one of the friendliest countries I've ever been to. Oh, no. Zimbabweans are so nice, man. Oh, no. That's right. <laughs> hey. One of the most friendly countries I in the world. Jumpies. Once our heart rates get back to normal, we see that the demon party has grown. Watch out for the snake, bro. Yeah. And Amala is very powerful. Amala is apparently the goat and is a local celebrity, which is probably a cool thing if you're a demon.
<laughs> we didn't come here expecting to see demons in Zimbabwe, but if you give yourself some space when you travel, you don't lock in a full itinerary. You allow serendipity and luck and just the sense of adventure to tingle your nose. You can find these things that you never thought existed. I'm so happy to share this adventure with you today because it's not one you can commonly see. I'm Mike of Fearless and Far, the host of the most adventurous channel on YouTube. You saw Ben behind the camera and Gumbo from Experiential Travel Africa put this together. Thank you for joining the adventure and I'll see you on the next one.